Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys. So, paper production is going up. I don't know if it's enough to. I don't know if it's enough to handle uh, printing, printing presses or not. But we are making progress. So, stuff is getting done. I think a little bit more would probably be nice. Our wood supplies are starting to go up a little bit now. Uh, just checking on things. So are these grown or did they harvest? Ooh, they harvested all of that, didn't they? Yes, they did. Okay, so all of that's already been cut down. That's all cut down. Those are all cut down. I'm seeing a pattern here. I think I completely forgot that we were working on one over here as well. That's all cut down. That's partially cut down. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit rough. That's a little bit rough. I was kind of hoping there's a few trees down there. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a little bit more than that. But yeah, I think we're going to have to increase again at least one more. All right, we got that built. Excellent. We've already got that over here. Good. I was about to say that that should give us quite a bit of room. Okay. All of that should be able to turn into in the oak. Alright, and we do have a, yes, we do have a lumberjack right there, and let me go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put in a second one right there. Okay. All right, so we added in another farm, and we're going to see how well everything goes. I'm just hoping that maybe some of my other forests just hadn't uh, hadn't fully grown yet, and, you know, we're, we're about to have, like, multiple harvests in different areas. Yeah, see, like, those are 90-something up there, and those are 35... 76. Yeah, I've got trees in various stages all over the place. So hopefully it's enough. And if it's not, we'll throw in some more dumps and we'll keep on growing. Alright, so we got that. Let's see. I'd like, like I said earlier, I'd like to increase paper production a little bit more before I call it good. Wondering if, well, no, I can't really do it right there because I was going to say, I wonder if I, well, we could just back it up to it and leave the shaft in the middle. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that leaves us room. Although we have to cut this one out because I didn't use the four way.
All right, we'll put in two printing presses right here. This one will be for books. This one will be for punch cards. And we'll see what happens with everything. So if it works, it'll be great. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to keep adding, adding more paper mills. And we got a drought approaching. Of course we do. How's our batteries looking? Our batteries are still nowhere near, near the top. Yep, I think we're going to add in a few more windmills. So many windmills. All right, well, we'll try that and see if those extra windmills don't help keep all this industry going during the drought. It might, it might not. There's, I was really hoping that uh, we wouldn't have had as many, yeah, dead periods in the wind as we were having. But yeah, it, it seems like wind power is just so unreliable. But that's what we got to work with. So we'll just make massive wind farms, I guess. I guess I didn't get that. Hold on. There you go. Go get those two.
All right. Well, now we just got to kind of wait for him to build and get stuff going and for some more trees to grow, and we'll see where we're at. Still looks like our paper's going up a little bit, so I don't think we're too bad there. Our punch cards, eh, not, not happening. Our books are starting to go up a little bit, though, so I'm wondering if maybe we're going to start having enough book production. Okay, we got book storage right over there. I was going to say maybe I should add in book storage, but yeah, I don't know. I, th I think book storage is probably good for a while. Yeah, because we only have 50 out of 1,800, so that's not, yeah, that's not going to fill up anytime soon. Can we add some book storage? Or not storage. Some uh, some printing presses over here. Yep, one on books, one on punch cards. We'll see if that doesn't start increasing the numbers. Probably will. It'll probably increase the numbers and decrease the amount of paper we have. It's an endless cycle. It's vicious. And of course, no more wind power again. All right, now we just need a builder to finish that one off. Add in a few more trees down here. All right, so what else do we need for our well being to get that? pushed up. We still need maple pastries. Okay. I need to check on our maple supplies. Uh, campfires, rooftop terraces, some contemplation spots. The Agora is not too bad. Dance hall. Yeah. And more roof bonuses. How many extra beavers do we have over here? 100, yeah, I really think that we're probably, I think we're done with, with the housing for the moment. Is there a way, I mean, I could build it and pause it if we really, really wanted to. Nah, let's just put the roofs on them, I guess, maybe.
Yeah, we'll start with that because I think that should cover the other side. So if I need to put in anything, I could if we really wanted to. So we'll do that and then let's get, I need some open land. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's why. There's a cliff there. I was like, why is it not letting me? Okay, that should help out with the campfires. Over there. And... Can I squeeze a couple in over here? Okay. And then for the rooftop terraces, if we really needed them, I could put them down here. Yeah, we'll just throw a couple down there just because. Add in a couple right there. That should help them out. Alright, all of our windmills are up. Awesome. Still not generating enough power. Does that in another five? That should help boost things a little bit. Oh, we are just about out. We're out of power. And we're out. And there's nothing we can do except wait for the wind. Any second now, wind, you can kick back up and, and like, power all my buildings. Ah, well. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, the beavers most definitely needed needed all that extra. I think we're going to go ahead and throw in a couple more contemplation spots. Just because these seem like they're staying quite full. So we'll add in a handful over here and probably a handful back in District 1 as well. Logs are still increasing. That's good. I don't know. Maybe we have reached reached that tipping point with the forest of where our forests are growing faster than we're cutting and producing. So maybe that is the thing. Where are we at with our paper? Paper's at 1.5. So it is growing. It has slowed a little bit, but it is growing. Uh, punch cards, not so much, neither is books, but we did have that long, long dry spell in the wind, so that might also be contributing to that a little bit. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at our maple, our maple supplies. Where are those at? That tank is empty. This tank doesn't have a whole lot. So, okay. So we can still use more. Yeah, we could use more maple, unfortunately. There's a little bit over here, but not much. Yeah, we might have to do a maple maple up here. How am I doing on my fuel reserves? We are, yeah, biofuel's not bad. Where is, which one is our catalyst? Is that our catalyst? Yeah, catalyst is still okay as well. All right. Yeah, get that, get that out of my way.
There we go. And once again, we are out of planks. I've built too much stuff with planks. Probably all these windmills over here. They used up my supply. Yeah, we literally need 10 planks there. Seven there. All right. Well, we might just have to let those uh, let those sit for a little bit and build up. Yeah, they're starting to get them delivered. All right. Well, guys, I think that's it for another episode. So we got a we got a few things done today. We got a whole lot of windmills added in. So maybe our industry over here won't won't completely tank every time the wind stops but then again it might because we added in several more buildings so we'll see if we've got a enough to balance out over there or not but you know only time will tell but anyway that's going to be it for today's video i do hope everyone has enjoyed it if you have be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button it is an awesome way for you to show your support to me to the channel to the video and to the game itself and as always feel free to share that video on any social media you're using you guys would like to stop take a moment and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful awesome support all the comments all the likes all the subscribers and all the videos shared it is awesome and i do appreciate it and with that being said until next time survivors keep on surviving